Hi there folks, this is GigaRx coming from you from Walmart again. I got my fiance, it's after her uh, for her after hours. It's almost uh, almost 2 30 from where I am. I accidentally missed her lunch by sleeping in a little too much. I guess I was a lot more tired than I thought I was. Um well today I got something to do. We I went in with my uh, roommate, we went and signed up with staff and partners, great people by the way, they've helped me in the past with finding a job, just they're normally temporary jobs, but they sound, they almost sound like they have a job ready for me for tomorrow, but I hope it ends up being so. Um, so I want to give a good shout out to staffing partners, they're awesome people and always helpful. Uh, today I have a new friend with me, I'll kick a pub, but I do have Giga Rex Jr. Hey, Giga Rex Jr. Wanna say hi? Say hi? <laughs> well, if you want to know why he's Giga Rex Jr., it's because of the fact that he is practically my son. I have had him for over 14 years now. He will be 15 coming June 6th. Uh, some people would be, probably even go as far to call him the Devil Dog because one of his birthdays was 666 at one point. It was a bit scary, but. He is probably the nicest dog to people you will ever meet. I've only heard of him trying to go after two people. Once was trying to go after, uh, trying to buy my father's boss's hand when he tried to stick his hand into the car to pet him with no one around. And a long time ago, when I had a bully, he was ne he was coming out of the he was walking by the next door neighbors, and we had him on this really stretchy green leash thing from tree to tree so he can roam around, we didn't have a fence at the time and we still need him to be able to do whatever the hell he wanted. He was able to stretch that thing over 30 feet down to the neighbor's house, having that guy pinned up against the neighbor's house trying to get him. I'm, I realized it's horrible but at the time I laughed. I just laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to see that happen to their childhood bully, bully? But hey, we're past that now. We're all grown ups. We don't need to think about that. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty good. I mean, last couple days have been kind of hard getting the whole Twitch thing set up because I just I don't know how, how it works in all honesty. I'm trying to get it to where I can take the recorded Twitch videos, but I don't know if it actually records with the Xbox. I think it only does that if you're on like PC or something like that. So that's going to be a little more difficult. I haven't had any followers on Twitch yet. That's most probably most because I'm only on there for about six minutes. And I was on there for about six minutes today. Issue was I was really tired and I told myself I needed to go take a nap. And well, I napped a little longer than I thought I did and went half hour into my fiance's uh, stupid fly. Uh, lunch. Feel horrible about that. That is just very ungentlemanly about of for of me to do that. I probably should have set an alarm, but it's fine. It blows over. Kind of celebrating the day with some uh with some KFC mashed potatoes and gravy and some biscuits. They're awesome. But in all honesty I actually prefer to get Albertson's chicken, which I did because Albertsons is a lot cheaper and the fact that I think their chicken is a little bit better in my personal opinion not dissing KFC I'm just saying that I prefer Albertsons over KFC KFC still has good chicken I just prefer Albertsons but I can't find any mashed potatoes and gravy that are as delicious as KFC's anywhere so we have to settle for mashed potatoes and gravy from KFC because that's the agreement that me and my fiance have. If I go and get chicken from Albertsons, we have to at least get her some uh, mashed potatoes and gravy, which I normally get some extra mashed potatoes and gravy because we all like it. And we, we get the biscuits there because their biscuits are really good. Like, have you tried going to Red Lobster and not having their awesome biscuits that they have there? Those things are completely delicious. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> um. Actually, you can buy uh, like mix boxes of their biscuits from certain places. I don't know if you can get it from Walmart. I think we got ours from like Albertsons or something. Not Albertsons, uh, Costco or something. I don't know. Uh, you'll have to look it up though. It's really good. It comes in handy. Ours come out a little bit weird because I don't think we're using the right 
method of cooking them, but it's still really good. Wouldn't you agree? I know, I know we've probably shared some with you, huh? This guy has a cast iron stomach. Like, not that I would want to give him anything that he would like, not like, but that would actually harm him. But in the past, he has gone into plenty of things that ha would have harmed him. Um, two different times, and it's our own fault. We left um, some white chocolate truffle packages um, to where he'd get them on accident, and uh, he he got he ate them like we, me and my fiance, we probably had four of the truffles that were in a package of like twelve to twenty ish. I don't know how many exactly. And then we would leave, we forgot to shut the door, he got in there and it's ripped into. Um, we did the ne same thing next day, it's like, we want some truffles, and <laughs> dang dog, ate them all. I love you, Giga Rex Jr., but I, I'm not, it's not like I'm not going to throw you under the bus. I know, but I still love you. Um, well, anyways, we went, got more, ate a few from that, decided to set some aside, because I don't like... I still need to lose weight myself, but we just didn't want to gain, gain a lot of weight by eating a bunch of chocolates and candies at that time. Hey, bud. And next thing I know, we had to leave, actually left the door open again, our bedroom door. He got into it. I swear, for like the, for the, those next two days, um, his, his, uh, his yard droppings were white and gold. Like, that's just not natural. And I wasn't going to touch it because I knew what it was. But seriously. Really? <laughs> sure, I'm glad no uh, gold gold mine digger is looking into our... Oh, hey. Hey, you going to come over and say hi? Okay. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> um, oh, you want some camera attention? You want camera attention? Oh, hey. One over here? Are you going to come over here? You just wanted the camera, don't you? Just wanted the camera, don't you? Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah, this guy is just the best dog ever, I think. He gets along with our animals that we have at home, but he doesn't always get along with others. He's kind of used to being the alpha, so any other dog that tries to be alpha, he gets in a fight with. He doesn't have the teeth to do it, though, because 14 years old. He's pit bull or collie mix, and he likes to chew on stuff, so his teeth are have been gnawn down because of his own reasons. But I still love him. He'll be 15 this year. Oh my goodness, yes. Such a good dog. Oh my goodness. I love you too. I love you too, Gigarex. Oh. <laughs> well, folks, I think, I think we're going to call it for the day. Uh, maybe you'll get to see some of the other animals sometime. I think Gigarex... Junior is going to be the one that gets to be in the camera more often. Gig Giga Rex, uh, or Giga Pup, doesn't actually like to stay still. He likes to cry a lot in the van because, well, he just likes to be out and about. Oh, try to come up onto my side. Well, if you like this, please hit the like button, subscribe, get other people to view. I don't know what it takes, but I think Giga Rex wants to say bye and go to the bathroom, so I'm going to have to say bye.